she is gone. She's not going to be streaming for at least a year. Moira, one of the first VTubers from Niji Sanji, one of the ones in the Gen 1 of JP, if I'm not mistaken, is deciding to take a long, long break. One year, or close to a year to be in fact, and they have mentioned it on, on uh, Twitter to let everyone know, as well as Globy having one of their uh, VTubers also take a bit of a break, this time to health. And finally, we're going to also touch on a small VTuber, a indie VTuber that I know that is also running into some issues, and we're going to just talk about everything. All right, guys, uh, we have Moira, Niji first, Niji Sanji first gen VTuber, announcing a one year long hiatus. This is Niji JP, by the way. The translation is, is I will take a break for about a year. In conjunction with this, we will temporarily close our fan club and memberships at the end of March. Please check the fan club website for information about the fan club. For membership refunds, please contact the, the official Niji Sanji website. Um, and this, the big thing with this one, hungry. the big thing with this one is this. This is the, the, the big news. Uh, Moira is one of the two livers, the one being Aki, who posted about Chihiro reincarnation new identity. Um, and she did. She reposted this. This is Chihiro's new identity. She was reincarnating. She was making, you know, they were getting things done. Uh, and she did this uh, actually last month. So she may be on an indefinite suspension. We don't know. She may have been suspended, still suspended. And as a kind of reaction to that, she may have decided, you know what? Screw this. I'm not going to stream for you. I'm not going to do this for you guys. Uh, I'm not going to give you the money. Also, there's the other thing that is popping up. She used to be, um, people are saying that also it could be that if you, uh, she doesn't, she may not want to be giving any kind of income to Niji Sanji. Uh, she may just want to be kind of, this is her form of protest in the case of all this type of stuff. You know, we, we don't know for sure. This is in another subreddit where people were talking about it a bit more. Um, people are saying that uh, there could be a number of reasons. It seems that she's been criticized for supporting Yuki Chihiro's VTuber endeavor, uh, maybe a self suspension. Two, another relevant issue is that there seems to be a clause in Niji Sanji contract where talent whom announced their graduation in advance needs to give a percentage of money extra earned in their last year. So she might be retaliating against the company by not streaming at all. If that is true, if there is something that if you have a graduation, you have to give uh, a good portion of your money in that next year uh, within the graduation time, if you announce it to somebody, to the Niji Sanji people, uh, she could be like, oh yeah, I'm announcing my graduation, but you're not getting any of my money. Cause I'm not going to be streaming at least not under an easy Sanji. You know, that could be one of those things because, um, you know, the, I would probably do that. I'd be like, all right, I'll figure something else out. I think she also has work outside of Niji Sanji. So it may be like, okay, I'm not going to shoot for Niji Sanji, but I'm going to do my work outside of Niji Sanji, my regular job, my nine to five or whatever it is, you know, or she may have just gotten a job just to be able to make ends meet watching not doing Niji Sanji stuff. It could be anything, but we don't know. We really don't know. This is all speculation at this point about what the reason is. The point is she's not going to be streaming for close to a year. And uh, that would hurt anybody, especially Niji Sanji if she was a big earner or an earner at all. It's still going to hurt them in one way or another. So it says right here, Ibuki Bjorn is on Globy. He's on hiatus and let's read what's going on. Dear Coves and Globy supporters, it is with great regret that we announced a temporary hiatus for Ibuki Bjorn from streaming activity starting today. The decision has been made jointly with Bjorn and the management team in order to be mindful of Bjorn's health and well-being. At least they're, you know, being a good management. It's better than what we can freaking say for Nidhi Sanji, at least. Over the past month, Bjorn has been trying to rest in order to overcome these health challenges, but we have determined that it might be better for him to take a step back from his schedule to focus on recuperation and recovery. We understand that this is sudden, but we ask for your continued support and encouragement for Bjorn during this challenging time. We sincerely apologize for any disappointing in this disappointment this announcement will cause. Please know that this decision was made with careful consideration of Bjorn's long-term well-being and after many long decisions, discussions back and forth between him and management. On behalf of Bjorn and the entire team, we thank you for understanding, patience, and support. Sincerely, Globy Team. So Globy's doing a Globy's a small one, if I'm not mistaken, it's like an independent VTuber company or small VTuber company, whatever you want to call it. But they are doing tons better than Nidhi Sanji has ever done for their livers. Which is saying something, and it's very sad that uh, Niji Sanji doesn't do better. It's good that at least Globy is uh, letting their livers rest, forcing them to rest, whatever you want to call it. This VTuber is someone that I got to know recently. It's someone that I got to know thanks to other VTubers out there that kind of connected me with them, at least on the, the base, 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 base level. And uh, I want to spread the news of what's going on with them. I hate when things like this happen. 
I hate when things small VTubers like Licorice Banashi is the one that I'm talking about. She's a small VTuber around my same size, I believe, maybe bigger. She might be bigger than me, uh, but I don't like what's happening to, to them right now. I really don't. This is what's happening. All of a sudden, boom, they, they were, they were, I think, commenting on someone's thing. They were watching some YouTube and they got logged out. This is what I heard. At least the, the story that they, that they were telling that they told me is that they were just doing their regular stuff and they got logged out uh, from YouTube. And that can mean many things. But um, this in this case, in this case, it is um, having to do with what they mentioned. I believe it's a they. I'm not sure if it's she or they. But Licorice mentioned that someone had been mass flagging or mass reporting her channel. At least that's what they assume, what Licorice assumes, that they had been mass banning, mass uh, reporting the channel for apparently sexually arousing visuals, which knowing her knowing licorice that's impossible <laughs> like they don't they don't they don't involve themselves with that type of stuff they don't do any of that type of baiting they don't do any of that type of stuff so this is not something that i believe in any way shape or form but this is what they received hi licorice banashi we have reviewed your content and found severe or repeated violations of community guidelines now this is automated 90% of the time. This is an AI that supposedly reviewed their content. All they reviewed is the fact that they've been reported. That's the only reviews that happened the first time around. This is all AI based. This is all just basically them saying they report, they, they, they reviewed things, but they haven't not until it's an actual human reviewing things. I've had shit like that happen to me in the past. I've had stuff like that happen to me in the past. I swear it's really annoying, but I have had stuff like that happen to me in the past um where i have had uh people report things and then you know they say i've got a community guideline strike i get it reviewed then the community guideline strike is removed because nothing happened ugh it's just ha it's happened to me a lot uh we know this is probably very upsetting news um but it's our job to make sure that youtube is a safe place for all if we think a channel of severely violates our policies uh because they removed her channel they removed it they deleted it it's gone i checked at least checked recently and it's gone uh Severely violates our policies. We take it down to protect other users on the platform. But if you believe we made the wrong call, you can appeal this decision. You'll find more information about the policy in question and how to submit an appeal below. What our policy says, the content that violates YouTube's terms of service or that encourages others to do so is not allowed on YouTube. Uh, this includes posting content previously removed for violating our terms of service, posting content from creators who are currently restricted or have been terminated under our terms. And he, she's saying, you know, you permanently removed my channel and didn't give me any reason. None of my content was breaking community guidelines. All of my commentary videos were educational and no graphic or sexually arousing visuals were shown. Um, she was, she was mass. I like, you, you can see here, I, I re, I retweeted some stuff. Uh, she is, they are absolutely, um, devastated by this as they, sh as they would be. Uh, a lot of people are getting on this and trying to get her back. Uh, one big person that's trying to do that is Rima Evanstar. A lot of people are trying to get her channel back because it's just dumb. It just doesn't make any sense. And here's what you get when you try to go to Liquor Spanashi. Let me just double check. Yep. It says page is not available. Sorry about that. Try searching for something else, which in YouTube terms means we nuked this thing into the sky. We nuked it into oblivion. It is gone. All of their hard work, all of the many, many videos, entertaining ones that they have done is gone. Just done. Kaputskis. Just poof disappeared because YouTube decided for whatever reason it was going to do this. And that is all we have for today. Of course, all of this is with the sources that you can see on the screen. I, of course, hope that Licorice as well specifically gets her channel back because it does seem wrong for YouTube to just do that out of nowhere. As I have mentioned in the video myself, of course, comment down below if you're surprised that YouTube has done this or if you are just expecting YouTube to do this. Also with the Moira and the other incidents, uh, let me know what you think about those. Thank you so much. This is, of course, your Mad Salvi. Look at my description below for my socials, as well as your screen right now in front of you for any video that you might be interested in that might interest you of things that I've done in the past. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.